We're headed to the hub of the Lower Cape in this episode. Let's visit the town of Orleans. Hello everyone, it's Jenny from WeNeedAVacation.com. Welcome to Escape TV, where each episode we get you back to the Cape and Islands. You asked and we were listening. We're going to get more specific about specific towns on Cape Cod, starting with the town of Orleans. Let's hear from the Chamber of Commerce and upcoming events. So here in Orleans, when folks come down to our town for their vacation experience, we try to give them something that's a little bit different than what they might expect in other towns. We have 54 miles of coastline here in town, so paddle boarding is really, really popular, kayaking, um, sailing, power boating. People just love to come and get outside and get on the water. And then of course there's Nasa Beach, so folks definitely like to come and drive on the beach. We're one of the few beaches on Cape Cod where you can experience that. There are visitors that come and they love to just drive, on, drive out on the sand, camp out and have a great time out there. We also have a lot of musicians, so that leads to many restaurants having bands at nighttime, or um, we produce a concert series called Live in Orleans. It happens every Tuesday. And then there's also music down by the beach as well. So there's no shortage of live music to be found. And we have a lot of history here as well. The Historical Society has a museum. There's the French Cable Station Museum, which is about the cable that came from France to the United States that actually came here in Orleans. And then we have Cape Cod Baseball League as well. So the Orleans Firebirds, they play at Eldridge Park. Eldridge Park is always ranked as one of the top fields to watch the Cape Cod Baseball League. Then we also have a 4th of July parade, which happens on the 4th at 10 a.m. And there are probably 10,000 people that come to town for it. We also do fireworks, and the fireworks usually happen on the weekend before July 4th. So you just want to check our website to see when um, the fireworks will be happening. And along with that, we have um, the Orleans Police Block Party that takes place in the middle of August. There are 3,000 people that come to it every year. There's antique cars. Then the police, they break out all of their the ambulances, the old um, antique fire trucks, and there's a, we have an antique police car. If you're into anything, any just good old fun, the block, the block party's a really great time. So overall, we're very outdoorsy. Um, it's very relaxing. You're not gonna find the town to be extremely jammed and packed and you can't get anywhere. You definitely can be secluded and you can have breathing room. And if you want to get really active and involved, there are many opportunities for that as well. Just like the events in Orleans, there are special and unique homes in the area. Let's take a look. Orleans is one of those towns that no matter where you turn, there's something eye-catching, unique, or downright dazzling. The same holds true for the homes. You could easily find yourself in a cute cottage one minute or a luxurious estate the next. In East Orleans, property 25214 is definitely one that will stop you in your tracks. Its exterior is cute as can be, but step inside and you'll see that it's filled with charm unlike any other. Also known as the Onion Barn, it was renovated back in 2003 to maintain its original New England appeal while allowing for all new amenities. With four bedrooms and three bathrooms, it can easily sleep 10. While the house is stunning, the best part might just be where it's located. The Onion Barn is located in an area called Pochett. Pochett is in Orleans and it's a very special part of Cape Cod because it's on an inlet. So you've got the bay on one side, you have the ocean on the other. We have a private deeded right to a slice of Nauset Beach. So when you go down, it is never crowded. You hit the beach, walk down a dirt road, over a bridge, onto the beach, you can come back midday, walk back down. It's just a lovely little slice of Americana. Speaking of great locations, you'll love how close you are to the ocean in this next home. Property 23766 is within the Quonset Harbor Club Association three houses away from the community's private beach on Pleasant Bay. The home itself is absolutely exquisite. Beam ceilings are featured in the spacious living room, all four bedrooms, both bathrooms, and the kitchen. Oh, and that kitchen? It's the perfect spot for anyone who loves to cook 
and entertain. Kitchens are where everybody gathers, so having a nice big area, being able to work while people are sitting around and chatting, I just really enjoy that. And if you are in fact looking to entertain, property 26994 might just be the ideal home. There's no shortage of natural light in this spacious contemporary. The post and beam home with cathedral ceilings is really the conversation starter all its own. This three bedroom, three bathroom home can sleep 10 and is perfectly located near town. We're just so close to Nauset Beach. We have Skakit Beach, small children. I have small children. Small children can go to this few ponds, Crystal Lake, Pilgrim Lake, right down on Monument Road. The Cape Cod Playhouse is right next door is our neighbor. There's a lot of things going on. We can walk to town, you can get ice cream, just on, you know, just 10 minutes walking, you can get ice cream, you can be downtown Orleans. So whether you're close to town or right on the beach, you can't go wrong by staying at a home in Orleans. No episode will be complete without us talking about food. Here's one local restaurant that everyone is flocking to. Looking for the perfect cozy spot to nestle into and grab a bite? If you haven't already, you should definitely stop into Sunbird in Orleans. This popular cafe started out as a food truck back in 2006 in the town of Wellfleet, but it nested permanently in Orleans a few years ago. Offering breakfast, lunch, and brunch, this eatery really delivers when it comes to serving up local flavor. From seasonal porridges and soups to leafy green salads, amazing sandwiches, and sweet treats, it's all made daily from scratch using responsibly sourced ingredients from nearby. Becky and I were there recently for breakfast. She ordered a fried farm egg served over garden greens with a citrus vinaigrette. I ordered my old standby, the bird breakfast sandwich which was comprised of fresh eggs, smoky slab bacon, citrus mayo, and organic greens on corn tortillas. Boy, were they delicious. We decided to indulge a little and shared a slice of the Calabrian walnut cake. It was incredibly moist and chewy with just a hint of citrus, the perfect sweet ending to our meal. So whether you're getting something on the fly or kicking back and eating in, consider flocking to Sunbird to enjoy some fresh, yummy food in a laid back, cozy atmosphere. While it doesn't really look like beach weather right now, it will be in a couple months. And here are some Orleans beaches you don't wanna miss. No visit to the town of Orleans would be complete without going to one of its many gorgeous beaches. On the calm bayside is Skakit Beach, offering beautiful white sand and gentle, family-friendly waters. When the tide goes out, and boy does it go out, it leaves behind miles of beautiful flats perfect for beach walks, sand castle building, and tide pool exploration. There is ample parking at this beach, as well as a snack bar and restrooms. If you're looking for a little more adventure, then Nauset Beach, located on the ocean side of Orleans, is for you. The giant stretches of beach and large waves definitely make for an exciting beach day. Unfortunately, recent winter storms have eroded the once plentiful dune area and washed away the much-loved Liam's Snack Shack. But the town has rallied and rebuilt portions of the dune area, and now food trucks offer refreshments throughout the day. There are restrooms, as well as a large parking lot, which fills up quickly at the height of summer, so try to get there early. For the very adventurous, there's Nauset's Outer Beach. With a special ORV permit, you are allowed to take your four-wheel drive vehicle onto the sands of the beach. There truly is nothing like taking a bumpy ride out to the ocean and spending the day on the sun-drenched beach. We recommend staying until dusk because the sunsets there are amazing and s'mores made at a beach bonfire taste a little yummier in the salt air. Just be sure to get a bonfire permit before indulging. There are several different areas to park your vehicle on the outer beach, but again, in the middle of the summer, these spots can get crowded pretty quickly. Finally, what better way to end your beach day than to rinse off at a freshwater lake? The clean, clear waters of Pilgrim and Crystal Lake are perfect for swimming feel like a kid again while jumping and diving off the docks, or just grab a raft and float the day away. So where will you be heading this summer? 
to a lake, the bay, or the ocean. One thing is for certain, you can't go wrong with any of them. How about visiting all of them? That's all for this episode. If you've been enjoying our shows, please visit our social media channels for past episodes. We'll see you next time.